Hey guys, it's Chris here with Prestige Auto. Today we're going to be changing out the blower motor actuator on this Cavalier. So whenever you turn on your AC sometimes you'll hear a clicking sound back in the dash. Click, 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 click. Okay, that sound is your actuator. So sometimes this thing has a little plastic gear inside of it. And whenever it tries to turn, that plastic gear gets worn out and it will just click inside there. So I'm going to show you guys how to... Uh, remove that thing, how to locate it, remove it, and replace it with a new one. So let's get our tools together and I'll show you guys how to change that out. Alright guys, so we're inside the car here and you can hear the clicking. Listen. Okay, I hope you guys can hear that. So, and now if I change this, it'll stop. So if you're having that problem, that's going to be your um, your actuator motor there. Most of the time they're pretty easy to change. Uh, most of the ones I've done you can just go under the glove box right here, find your blower motor and it's screwed into the side. But I looked around on this one, this one seems like it's going to be a real B. We got to take out, it looks like this whole lower part of the dash. This whole glove box here has got to come out because it's directly right behind it and there's no other way to get to it. There's only like two or three screws holding it down. Very easy to swap out, but not on this vehicle. So anyway, let's get our tools together. Turn that off, that's real annoying. Let's get our tools together and see what it's gonna take to pull this box out right here. It looks like there are a couple screws, one there, one over here. There's a couple in the side right here, and we'll see what it takes to get this thing all the way out and get that get that little motor changed out right there. So I picked this up from AutoZone, and it was about 30 bucks. Like I said, they're usually really easy to change out. There's a plug in the side. There's usually three screws holding it down, and then it just sets. You can see the shape of it, and make sure that you line it up with your new one, put in your screws, and you're good to go. No more clicking. All right, let's grab some tools. Alright guys, I've been uh, digging away trying to get this glove box out and it's not coming. It's a lot of work. I pulled off this side right here. You've got a, like the top dash is flopping right here. we got to pull all that stuff out. It's this whole thing. This whole bottom piece of dash. I've taken out a lot of screws and no different. It's not loose. I can't get behind it. So we're just going to have to wedge our arm up in there. And get to it so I've already got one screw out it's hell but it's doable so what we're doing here is you're gonna follow this little line follow it up and you can feel the actuator right there it's got three screws in it and let's see the socket that I'm using is a five and a half millimeter it's got three little screws like this in it if you can see that just feel your way around, reach up in there, feel your way around, get those three screws out. I was actually able to stick my hand in there with the socket and unscrew it by hand. So that helped out. We're just going to keep fighting that thing till we get it out. Alright guys, so if you've already tore apart your glove box, you can put all that crap back together. Alright, let's keep working. Alright guys, we've managed to get it free. Luckily there were only two screws in there. Two little ones like this, five and a half millimeter. Um, the spot that the third screw goes, I think it's just an alignment pin. So we've got it, and man, there's no easy way to do it other than just, you gotta pretzel your arm up in there and get those screws out. And then it comes down, and here we are. So this thing just clicks inside there. But it goes, when you put it back in there, you're just going to have to feel around and get it right. The plug goes on the bottom. So just fill up in there. Line this little groove up and get it in there. There's a screw on this one and the top one. 
Um, this one right here was just a little alignment pin. So if you get it back in there and you feel that pin click in, you're good to go. Just get your two screws back in there. We'll unplug this and get our new one. Okay, here's our here's our new one here. We'll go ahead and plug it in. And then we're just gonna pretzel our arm back up in there and try to fit it in, align it up, and get those screws back in. All right. Okay guys, we got it all back together. No more clicky sound when you turn it. We are good to go. So if y'all got that clicking sound up in here in your dash, very common in Chevy vehicles, Impalas, Malibus, most Chevy cars have the little clicking sound back there. That's gonna be your it's gonna be your fix. Just changing that out. It was a lot easier putting it in than it was taking it out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that helped fix your issue. And if it did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.